I was always thinking about buying an iPad, but I invented a better solution. Check out the new iMac Nano. When Apple introduced the original iPad, it was in the middle between your laptop and iPhone. And I was always asking myself, why do I need to purchase an iPad? For what kind of purposes and tasks am I gonna use it? Let's be honest, even today, an iPad cannot fully replace a computer. If I want to do something serious, like video editing, writing, or even web browsing, I can use my MacBook. And if I want to watch some YouTube videos, I can use my iPhone 15 Pro Max. Its display is almost as big as the iPad's mini. So what's the purpose of owning an iPad today? That's the question of this video. Instead of buying an iPad, I decided to build it myself. And when I finished my product, I called it iMac Nano. So first, we're gonna need a base. I'm gonna use this wireless charger X55. The biggest advantage of this product is its portability, low price, and you can charge three devices at once. My AirPods, my Apple Watch, and my iPhone. As my main device, I'm using the iPhone 15 Pro Max in this beautiful natural titanium color. This is 512GB version, so there is a lot of space for my games, pictures, videos, and documents. Next, to build a proper computer, we're gonna need a proper wireless keyboard. I already have my magic keyboard, so I'm gonna use it with my iPhone. The pairing process is really easy. Go to your Bluetooth devices, put your wireless keyboard in pairing mode and simply connect your device. Since we're building a true portable computer, we're gonna need a proper wireless mouse. I already have Magic Mouse too, but unfortunately I was not able to connect it to my iPhone because of some weird software bugs. But since my iPhone 15 Pro Max already has a USB-C port, technically I can use any device with my iPhone, so I'm gonna use my old mouse. This mouse is like 15 years old and I'm not even sure it's gonna work with my iPhone. And it works! It's funny because Apple's own product, the Magic Mouse 2, is not connecting to my iPhone, unfortunately. I know it looks awkward, but the purpose of this video is to test the thing. And you know what? The scrolling wheel is working, so you can web browse, scroll uh, web pages with your scrolling wheel. And I almost forgot about the latest accessory I want to add to my setup, a little HomePod Mini. It feels really weird to web browse using mouse on my iPhone, scrolling with this old style wheel. I mean, the experience is pretty awkward, but technically it works. Unfortunately, iOS experience in landscape mode is not the best because iOS was built for the iPhone and the iPhone should be used vertically and not horizontally. Yes, indeed, there are some apps that will work in landscape mode, like files or pages, but most of the apps out there for the iPhone will not support the landscape mode. And by the way, I really like the iOS 17 standby mode. At least the always-on display on the iPhone 15 Pro Max will become useful. So talking about the user experience, technically it works iOS default browser Safari actually do support the landscape mode and it allows you to have this almost macOS experience on your iPhone. I really like how it looks in landscape mode. You have the same tab view as on your big MacBook. And surprisingly, the keyboard works really well with my iPhone 15 Pro Max. Typing using physical keys is a much better experience than using touchscreen. At the beginning I was a little bit upset because I was not able to connect my magic mouse to my iPhone, but surprisingly this scrolling wheel reminds me of some good old days when I used to have a Windows PC. Okay, maybe using a physical mouse with your iPhone looks like a gimmick, 
but using a physical keyboard is a pretty genius idea, especially for students, for people who are taking notes. I mean, you can just put your little keyboard in your backpack, you always have your iPhone, you can use this MagSafe stand or any other stand and type your courses at the university or whatever you need to type. I mean, it's a nice idea, it's a nice concept. I decided to activate assistive touch because it helps me to operate my iPhone without actually touching the touchscreen. I can use my mouse and it works surprisingly well. Even spotlight search is accessible when typing F4. Ok, let's try to do something useful. Let's create a random documents and pages and try to edit it. By the way, I never used pages on my iPhone and it looks surprisingly well. You can create the same style of documents, you can edit them. I can imagine myself using this setup at university, why not? Of course, I'm gonna look like an alien, but what's the problem? I really enjoy this little setup because it reminds me of my university years. I wish I could have the same setup back in the day. Ok, and finally, let's test the gaming part, because this is the most interesting thing for me. Having a physical mouse can give you a huge advantage in some games like GTA San Andreas or some shooters. Let's see if it even works, I never tried that before. Ok, so the game was loaded and unfortunately it does not work the same as on your PC. I mean, I'm pressing buttons to move, but I'm moving using my mouse. Physical buttons are not supported by most of the games out there, so it's kind of pointless. Ok, I can use game controls, but I have to point my mouse exactly on the game button. So it's not the best experience in the world. And by the way, physical buttons on the keyboard are not working. So I'm using my mouse as a steering wheel. But there is one game where physical mouse can be actually used. Angry Birds. But again, you can use your finger. So what's the point of using a physical mouse? Let's be honest, gaming experience is not the best. Conclusion. It's a funny experience to use my iPhone as a sort of mini MacBook, but let's be honest, this setup looks more like a joke. You can have fun with it, but it's not actually very useful in everyday life. And by the way, I still don't know what's the point of using an iPad. If you have some suggestions, please comment below. If you enjoyed watching this video, please like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you later on YouTube. Bye bye.